Today, I'm going to show you how to take 120 listings from your Amazon Merch account and transfer or publish them to your Etsy store in under 10 minutes using a combination of Producta and My Designs. The first step to this process is installing Producta for Merch by Amazon. That's a free Chrome extension and I will leave a link to it in the description down below. Once you have it added to your browser, head over to the Products tab and here you will have to apply a few filters. So first of all, filter these listings by just one marketplace. I've got the US selected in this example. Then the status has to be set to live. Only choose one product type. So I've got the standard t-shirt selected right here. And then ideally you'll want to filter out one specific brand name or a specific niche, a certain category of designs just to keep things organized. And one more tip right here, I would use a list of designs that's optimized for the same background color. So in my case, all of these are white text. So optimized for darker t-shirt colors. And once you've got all of that set, make sure to select the set of your listings like so, and then head over to export selected and choose products with designs Excel, and then save all of these files to a designated folder. Once that's done, you should have a few different zip files, which contain our design files. Then there should be a product spreadsheet, which holds all of the listing data from Amazon. And I will leave a download link in the description to this my designs import spreadsheet, which we need to prepare for the import to work seamlessly. But before for that, let's first of all unzip all of these zip files right here so we get access to the designs. There we go. Once that's done, just delete the zips. And one more thing you need to do is right click onto your folder and make sure this is sorted by name and ascending. And once that's done, just open up both of these spreadsheets so we can prepare them for import. So here we've got the My Designs spreadsheet and it shows which data points we need to fill in for this to work. So we've got a title field, description and a file path that needs to be entered. For the title, we can just head over to the Producta Export spreadsheet and we've got the title field right here in column B. So let's click onto this, hold down control and then left click onto title. So that deselects the header. Now we can hit control C to copy all of this and then paste it with control V into this title column. Same goes for the description. We can use either one of the bullet points or the entire description field if it is filled in from Amazon. So let's click on the bullet point one field for this example, control C and then control V like so. Now the file path before we do this, there's one little thing we need to do. So we want to order all of this, the title and the description field from A to Z by the name alphabetically. So we can do this by heading over to data, clicking on sort. Then you want to choose expand the selection and click sort. Here, just select sort this by column B and hit OK. And now, as you can see, this has been ordered alphabetically. Now, if we head back into our folder with all of the designs, we can go to the top, click on the first one, hold down shift on a keyboard and then click on the last one to select this list. And then if we right click onto the first design right here, we can then hit copy as path, go back to the spreadsheet, go into the file column right here, which is column C into the second row and hit control V to paste that file path into the spreadsheet. And now we can save this and move on to my designs. So this is where things will start to get interesting. We're inside of the my designs listing tab right here, and I've created a new folder called Amazon import. So you just add a folder, name it according to your niche or your brand name, use the default template, and then add it down here. Once we've got this folder open, it will be empty to begin with. But if we go to upload and choose import from Excel file, we can now essentially select the folder that all of our designs and spreadsheets spreadsheets are saved within. Hit upload, confirm this up here by hitting upload again. Then you need to select the My Designs import spreadsheet right here and go to the next step. This can stay as the default. Hit next step again. And now we can click on the blue upload button to get all of these files imported with the listing data associated to it. Once your designs have finished importing, there's only a couple of small steps left before we can hit publish. So first of all, select all of your listings up here, then head over to Fraser AI. All of these settings can stay at the default if we're selling t-shirts. Hit submit, continue, and now it's going to rewrite the title in a more Etsy-friendly format, and we want to also get tags added to each 
of these listings within a matter of just a few seconds. Now, I would also like to add something to the description about the product we're going to sell. So head over to all actions, edit in bulk. I'm going to change the field to description and the action is going to be add to end. And I've got a pre-written description right here for the Gildan 5000 product details, which I got through chat GPT. I also have a separate video tutorial about this. So this is going to be added to the end of the description. The preview is down here. I just need to add a space at the top or two spaces. There we go, that looks better. And now we can hit apply to select listings, proceed. And now these look a bit better also. And now we are technically ready to start publishing these listings. You can alternatively create some image mockups right now as well with the mockup generator, but we can use some preset ones during the publishing stage to be as quick as possible. So when you have everything selected, click on publish listings, select products from the drop down, choose your store of choice, and then go ahead and pick a product. I'm going to choose the Gildan 5000 right here because it is the cheapest option. And I'll select my designs as the production partner. Right here I'm going to select a few additional product colors and change the mock-ups to some of these lifestyle images. I'm going to make sure the black is in the first place and the size chart is towards the end. And now we can go ahead and choose the prices for our t-shirt. So I'm going to replace all of these fields with $22.99, hit apply. And then because 2XL and 3XL is more expensive to print, I will change the price for those slightly to $23.99 for the 2XL and $24.99 for 3XL. I'm also going to put in a cheap option for just one size of the maroon shirt. So let's make that $17.99 to kind of get people to be more likely to click on the listing because it will show up as $17.99 for the bottom price. And then we are ready to go ahead and preview the publish info. Who made it? Here you want to select another company or person and then choose one of the production partners that you have linked on your Etsy store. In this case, it would be my designs as a production partner. This demo account doesn't have that set up, but in your case, it should be fairly straightforward. And then you can go ahead and hit publish to get all of these listings pushed to your drafts folder within your listings tab on your Etsy store. If you want to learn how to sell personalized products through my designs in bulk, then make sure to check out this video next for a step-by-step -step tutorial.